What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazar DIY and other stuff. My name is Amber Meeks, and in today's video, we are in part 15 of the series where I'm sharing my shoe collection 25 pairs at a time. Now, last week I shared 30 pairs with you because I accidentally put out five additional pairs. And once I set up those stairs and did all that, there was no way I was going to rearrange everything so that I could share the first 25 pairs with you and take that last row out. I just didn't want to deal with that, so I just went ahead and rolled with the 30 pairs. But for the rest of the videos in this series, I will be sharing with you 25 pairs. I have 25 super fun pairs for you today, so without further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay guys, so here's a sneak peek of the 25 pairs I will be sharing with you today. I have so many super fun patterns in this bunch. I just love them, love them, love them. And then I got some, you know, ordinary classic kind of shoes. So we have quite the variety today. Let's get started. Okay, so for this first pair here, I can't remember where I got it from. I think I got it from Gabe's, but I love how it has the leopard print and then it has the camel color on the back heel and then the black on the front. I love the breakup. It's almost like a color blocking kind of thing, but you got a pattern in the middle. I just think they're really super cute. Okay, so this next pair here, what can I say guys? God bless America, I love these shoes. So these are six inch stiletto heels and I love the red elastic that they have in the center here. I just think it adds a really cool touch to these and then of course the blue with the stars oh I just love these year round so this pair here also came from AMI club wear and these are just really fun I don't know what's going on at the top there with like the little wings but I don't know it's a really cool touch so these are a golden black leopard print six inch stiletto heel and then it has the black elastic bands in the center so these are really fun as well Okay, this pair here, I believe I got from Poshmark, and I just really liked this spine heel detail that they got going on there. I just think it's really fun. And then you have all the tigers on there, which is also another unique thing. Now, these chains on the side honestly just get in the way, so I'm probably going to DIY a way to make them not be so dangly. But other than that, these are super fun. Oh my gosh, these came from Chic Shoes, and aren't these fantastic? So you have a multicolor scale print. It's like a mermaid kind of a print going on with these heels. Oh, I love them. I just love the bright colors. I love the print. I just think these are absolutely fabulous. So this pair here was also from AMI Clubwear, and it's the same style that you've previously seen in the last couple of pairs that I showed you. But what I love about this black and white check print is it reminds me of the floor in Alice in Wonderland. I just think it is so bold, so crazy fun. I just love these. I really do. Okay, this is getting kind of, you know, yawn fest here, but these are just your classic Mary Jane black stiletto heels. They're cute, they're fine, but compared to what I just showed you, these are very basic for me, but I guess everybody needs a pair of basic shoes in their collection. Okay, this pair here, I am in love with this black and white stripe with these um, colored straps. I just think this is a really smart design. And I love that spine heel detail. Now, these are a show story brand. And honestly, I've not had much luck with these shoes for as much as I pay for them. They kind of fall apart, but I really do love their designs. Okay, this pair here came from AMI Club Wear, and I love this bright neon yellow. These are fantastic. You know, I'm going to be doing an 80s look soon, so I wonder if I should wear these shoes in that video. Hmm, I just might do that. Nonetheless, these are really fun. I think I paid like five bucks for them, so there you go. <laughs> okay, this pair here also came from Chic Shoes, and this is also the black and white check print, but it's not as big and bold as that other pair I showed you from AMI Club Wear. But I do like this smaller, more detailed design as well. I just think it's really fun. Okay, so now we're getting into Yonfest City. So these are just like a classic Oxford heel, but they're velvet. And uh, that's really all I can say about these guys. There's really not much I can say. They are so basic, but they are really comfortable though. I mean, I will definitely give them that, but just pretty basic for me. So then we're just going to move on with the Oxford Fest here. So we have this camel color. I think I found these at Gabe's and they were only like five bucks. So they were a fantastic deal. Now I do like having these basic normal kinds of shoes in my collection, but I just don't wear them very often. I go for the crazy more often. So here's the same pair that I just showed you in the camel color. I have the, them in this black color as well. And these ones won't be ones that I DIY or anything like that because I do like to have basic shoes in case I need to, I don't know, look kind of sort of professional when I go somewhere. I I don't know whatever <laughs> this pair here is also an oxford style shoe but i love these so much more because they have a print yes we have a print i love this beautiful purple print on the side with the wood grain heel i just think that is a really fun awesome touch 
Okay, this pair here, I really don't remember where I got them from, but I don't know, they kind of remind me of slides, but in like a heel version, if that makes sense. What the heck just fell? That's really weird. I don't know where that came from. Nonetheless, they're pretty basic black shoes with a little like buckle on the side. They're cute, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, so these ones, I think they kind of remind you of clown shoes, but they're also really fun. I did find these at Gabe's. Now these don't have a tongue in the center, so they kind of are hard to wear because the, the um, shoestrings kind of hurt your feet. But other than that, I really like the colors and the design of this shoe i also got it in this even more clown looking style with the yellow the blue and the green but again they're really fun but with that without having a tongue they are kind of uncomfortable so you just have to tie your shoelaces really loosely so that they're a little bit more comfortable to wear okay these i love these are basic but i love this ginormous buckle on the side i think that just makes these ankle boots oh my gosh i really do love these these are super cute they're very comfortable i think they're like a five inch heel which is okay i mean i can deal with the five inches <laughs> so i also have the same pair in this black color i do think that i like that uh, ivory color better than the black ones but they're equally as comfortable and they're very cool with that large buckle on the side i just think that is a really smart effective design Okay, this pair here is super low. I mean super low, but I do love the fur at the top part of this boot, but the heel, oh my gosh, you guys, I think that looks like four inches or three and a half. I don't know. They're really short, but nonetheless, they're really cute. Just not ones that I would definitely reach for or wear very often. Okay, these ones here I got from Chic Shoes and they're really comfortable and the thing that makes these so awesome is the butterfly design on the back. Now, I think that this would have even been more impactful and better if they would have did the butterfly design in a color, but they're still really super cute black heels. Okay, these ones also came from Chic Shoes. I love the black lace over top of this hot pink color in conjunction with the velvet on this ankle boot. Super cute, super smart, and you know what? They're kind of sexy looking, I'm just saying. Okay, this was another lucky find at Gabe's. I love floral print shoes, and I love the fact that it's just on the bottom of this one with that black at the top. Now, the black has some spots that I need to work on. I'm really not sure why the, that part of the shoe is coming off. I'm gonna have to figure that out and do an upcoming DIY. Speaking of DIYs, I DIY these ones. These are super fun. So these are what I call ugly Christmas shoes. You know, I have the ugly Christmas sweaters. I was going for the ugly Christmas shoes look and I definitely think I achieved it with these. I get compliments every time I wear them. I think they are really, really super fun. And this pair here is the final pair for this video. I did DIY these with some acrylic caulking. And guys, these this pair of shoes right here has made me the most money online. I did a really cool photo of these shoes before and after. And a company that everybody knows and loves really loved the photo. And they bought it from me. So it was super awesome. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up the video for this week. I will have 25 more super fun pairs for you next week. Until then, bye! My name is Amber Meeks and in today's video we are in part 15 of the series where I'm sharing my shoe collection 25 pairs at a time. Now last week I shared you, I shared you, I shared with you, <laughs> try again, awesome! What's up gorgeous peep? Wow that was kind of loud, was that loud? I mean I'm always loud, I think that was louder than normal loud, I'm just fine.